Hello and welcome to a 3dparadise.com tutorial. We'll start with this scene. You can go download at the, our website 3dparadise.com if you are registered there. And if you're not, you can just register, that's free. So when you have the scene, um, the first thing that we'll do is to link the objects in the right order and uh, set the, all the objects in hierarchy. So we want these legs to be affected when we move this. Um, and uh, down there. So for example if you rotate the shin you want the foot to go with it. So let's start with that. Select the select link tool and um, first select the object that you want to that you want to be linked so that would be the foot and then hold the mouse button down and uh, hover the mouse over the object that you want that you want the object to be linked to and then let go of the mouse now if you rotate the shin the foot has been linked we want this to uh, be done on the other side too so hold the, the left mouse button down and hover over the object that you want it to be linked to and let go so let's just do this with the shin to the thigh the thigh to this little bone here and this blue thing to uh, the body. So now the linking has been set right up. So when we move the body, the legs go with it. And when we rotate the thigh, the whole leg moves. So now that's set up. When you do this, if you make your own model and not take this scene here. Uh, it's very important that you have set the pivots up right. So if you look at this, you can see that the pivot is where this rotation or transformation tool here. So you can see that it's somewhere around here. And when we rotate it, it rotates around that pivot point. We can also see it if we go here in hierarchy, pivot, affect pivot only, then we can actually move the, uh, move the pivot. So if we try to move it down here, here, in the middle of the thigh, and go out from this affect pivot only mode, and then we rotate the thigh, we can see that this is not what we want. We want the pivot to be located up here. So control C to get that at the right spot again. And the next thing we'll do is um, to set up uh, two IK solvers. Uh, it's easier to show what it is than to explain it. So let's just uh, get started. Select the thigh, go to animation, IG solvers, and choose the HI solver. And then uh, click at the foot. Now we get this IK goal down here. That's the cross you can see here. And when we move this cross, you can see that the leg bends. We were not able to do this before. If we go over to the other side here. If we just move this uh, foot, you can see that it's all wrong. We don't want that. So now we have this IK goal here that we can move. Okay. So we want this on the other side too. So select the object highest in the hierarchy that you want to affect, be affected by this IK solver, go to animation, IK solvers, 
HI solver and select the lowest uh, part that you want to be in the IQ solver. Be affected by the IQ solver, sorry. So now this works on both legs. Okay, so now if we move this body down, you can see that the you can see that the feet stop uh, where the IK goals are. So um, we still have one problem, and that is that when we go um, beyond, so that the legs are bending, these feet are uh, linked to the shin, so uh, they are actually rotating because of them. And we don't want that to um, make this work again. To make these uh, rotate separately from the uh, shins, we could set up um, some constraints. So go into the create menu under splines and choose a rectangle. And then just draw a simple rectangle out here that should resemble the foot. Now we want the pivot to be where the foot's pivot are or the, um, the IK goal. So if we go to hierarchy, pivot, effect pivot only, go to the align tool and choose the, the IK goal and then just X, Y and Z, pivot to pivot. Okay. Then we go out of uh, effect pivot only mode. Then we want the foot to be oriented like uh, this rectangle. So choose the foot, go to animation, constraints, orientation constraint, and choose the rectangle. Now, if you have a uh, if the foot has been rotated in um, some kind of way before you add the con uh, constraint, then it will not look at, the, at uh, those data. So go down here in the motion panel 